Hey guys, Linda here. Coming back at you with another video today. I'm going to do the reveal book box. I decided to do the reveal book box and go ahead and get it out of the way because I'll probably be, I'll be getting another one soon this month because this is from June, like I said. <laughs> it didn't happen in June, so let's get to it. Hope everyone had a great 4th of July yesterday. Um, all of you who celebrate 4th of July in America. Hope everyone had a great one. Um, I didn't do too much yesterday. I, Of course, you know, on the 4th of July, you have to do a lot of eating. Yeah, so I did a lot of eating. I did a little bit of reading. And I finished it off with watching TV. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and um, I heard I didn't go anywhere for fireworks or anything. Um, they did a lot of fireworks uh, over here in my uh, where I live at in my area, but I didn't look outside to see what was going on. I just could hear it from outside. Um, so that's what my that was my fireworks. That was it. <laughs> but I hope everyone had a good fourth. Um, and like I said, coming to you today uh, with my reveal book box. So let's open this and see what we got up in here. I hope it's something good that they had for uh, June. Cut it open here. See what's going on and I had the, the terrible thing about it I had um, about being off yesterday I had to go to work today yeah <laughs> I should have I should have took off but it didn't happen so I had to go to work today yeah but I made it through and it's Friday so I'm looking forward to the weekend let's see what we got in here we got some tea chai tea oh they got two things of tea you got your chai tea here and then we also got green tea get that light off there you got chai tea and green tea I might try that out try to tease that and then we got two cup holders boys are made better boys are oh boys are better in books and then we had got I believe in happily ever after oh that both of those are nice I really like this this is cute and then we got the pink one nice and we got a book card here. Uh, what this say? Fancy? Fantasy? Yeah. Look, I can't hardly read this. Oh, this said Mr. Fantasy. You can't hardly see it. But that's what that is right there. The real light right this. And then this is Mr. Fantasy. That's nice. And then it got some on the back. A Caribbean, a Caribbean island. A rich CEO. A woman thrown overboard. A delicious one night stand. Want to know what happens next? Find all the answers and more between the pages of this sizzling standalone romance, Mr. Fantasy. That sounds interesting. Caribbean Island, a CEO, of course, a rich CEO, and someone get thrown overboard. Yeah, I like this card. Nice. Next, we got text, the texting series. I read Let's Get Textured. And it didn't do it for me, so I didn't continue the series. But have any of you read? Did it, have any of you read any of this? The text, the texting series. Did you like it? And it's by uh, Tegan Hunter. Uh, it's supposed to be a romantic comedy rom com filled with text, textual tension. Texting series. So if any of you read that, let me know what you thought about um, the. Uh, if you read, let's get textual. Textual. And then we got the um, the coloring card here. And this says Susan Renee. Um, coloring card here. Got a bunch of stuff on here. Got your camera. Got some little footprints over there. Your wine glass. Musical notes. Got the little bow there. And it just said the reveal book card. Uh, the first, oh, we got an ink pen here before I get to the books. The last letter, that's what they say. The last letter by Rebecca Yaros. Nice little ink pen. And the first book I see here is Welcome to what this is? Welcome to Malus, Trouble in Hell, the Hell Night series. Uh, I wonder is this book one? Because <laughs> you know they be putting them in here out of order. And then I guess this is her, her um, signature. Boy, she got to get better with that signature. Look at it. <laughs> Alex Grayson. And let's see how many. See how the chapters look in here. I like how they be doing the chapters sometimes. And this is how they have the chapters. 
Uh, nothing too outstanding, but it's okay. It's different, the chapters. And let's see how many pages in here. I got 302 pages. And these are some other books by her. If you wanted to check them out. Let's see, is there anything in here about the author? Yeah, Alex Grayson is the best selling author of heart pounding, emotionally gripping contemporary romances, included, including the Jaded series, the Consumed series, and three standalone novels. Her passion for books was reignited by a gift from her sister in law. After spending several years as a devoted reader and blogger, Alex decided to write and independently published her first novel in 2014, an endeavor that took a little longer than expected. The rest, as they say, is history. Also, she started, I wanted this, is this, um, she published this by herself, probably. This probably, um, but if she did, she did a good job. I like this cover. Let's read a little bit of this. I'll read a little bit of the back of it to you. Trouble and his trouble and his brother escaped from malice texas as kids in the dead of night they left behind a hell so hideous it made national news years later they returned to make the place that was once their living nightmare a safe place for those who have suffered just as they have when remy comes to town pregnant and in desperate need of help as the town's only doctor trouble reluctantly offers his services little did he know the strong attraction he would feel for the woman Feel for the woman. He fights it, he tries to push it to the side, but it only grows stronger, nearly consuming him. Love is not some, something trouble can't afford to feel, not when he still has vengeance in his blood. That sounds interesting. And like I said, I like this cover, so I'm going to have to give that a try. Next, I have Megan Quinn, The Second Chance, a Getting Lucky novel. So I guess this is a series. So both of these are going to be series. This is the hell night series and this is i guess this is going to be the getting lucky series so let's see there's her signature there and let's see what that's going and here are some of her books uh here on this side and on this side uh, let's see how the chapters look in this book oh these are going to be just uh regular chapters See how many pages it has in here uh 321 pages oh and she uh, she got her picture in the back here here's a picture of the author you oh she's a usa today's best-selling author wife adopted mother and peanut butter love peanut butter lover an author of romantic comedies and contemporary romance megan quinn brings readers the perfect combination of heart humor and heat in every books uh -uh. I don't know if I've read anything about her yet, but let's see what this says. Maybe uh, this will be the one uh, that I can read uh, by her. Um, let's see. It was supposed to be an innocent night celebrating my brother's birthday. Nothing was supposed to go wrong. We vowed to be on our best behavior after we vowed to be on our best behavior after all. But it only took one rowdy night with my brother's with my brothers to flip my world upside down so i guess this is going to be like maybe novels on the brothers in this uh on this guy's brothers i guess him and his brothers going to um uh, this is the series is going to be on them yeah i'm trying to get it together here <laughs> but it only took one rally night with my brothers to flip my world upside down one unlucky encounter saddles us with a family curse and the promise of doomed relationships. I laughed it off immediately. Yeah, right, I thought. A love curse, ha. Boy, was I wrong. Word spreads quickly in a town like mine. Rumors about that night soon made us the most eligible yet untouchable bachelors in Port Snow, Maine. As a subject of endless gossip and speculation, I could kiss my dating life goodbye. It would have stayed that way if rain rain winters the new girl in town hadn't crashed into my life brave beautiful and smart her vivacious thirst for a fresh start has given me hope that maybe just maybe i can have one too everyone wishes for that second chance but could this really be mine it sounds interesting i don't know might give it a chance and this is the second that second chance by megan quinn a getting lucky novel so those are all the books I have. Oh, let's see here. I forgot the candy I had up in here. Got some candy. Airheads. 
I might I might eat this up airhead. Yep. I think I'm gonna eat that. Alright, let's put the books back in here. I like the books. I'm gonna check them out. I'm sure I'm gonna check this one out. Trouble in hell. Sound interesting. Put everything back in here. And I like my um uh, cup holders. We'll be using those too. And I might try out this tea, cinnamon tea. This green tea and this chai tea. Try those out. Put everything else back in here. I'll leave my candy out. I'm going to have to heat that up. And so that's my June box. Finally. That was it. And that's all I have for now. And I will be coming back with a... Um, now, my next video should be uh, a reader's update. Even if I've read one book, I'm just going to come over here and do a reader's update. And also um, do the next box in my unhaul. So I should be having that. That should be my two videos for next, next week. Hopefully I can work it out that way. But that's all I have for now. Until next time, keep reading those romances. And I'll see you later. Bye.